Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and well motivated to start your preparation for the RBI and SEBI examination. So today we will be discussing about the RBI bulletin. Now this bulletin is released monthly and today we will be discussing about the July 2022 release. But before that there are certain information for you. We have already started with the live classes. In case if you have still not enrolled for the live classes, you can visit our website, check the courses and in case you feel that it is of importance to your preparation journey then please enroll for the same. Apart from that, if you have still not downloaded our app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Any kind of exam related updates, live video sessions, daily quizzes, topper strategies, monthly magazines as well as past year papers are available on this app. You can also use this app in case if you are a first time user and you want to see the level of the questions that are being asked in the past year papers. So go and download this app. So let's get started. So today as I have already mentioned we will be talking about the RBI bulletin. Now what is this bulletin? So RBI every month releases a bulletin, a document whereby it talks about the assessment of the economy and the market conditions and it lays down certain points to articles, speeches as well as current statistics. So this is for the July 2022 edition and this bulletin is issued by the Department of Economic and Policy Research under RBI under the direction of the editorial committee. Okay? And as I've already mentioned, there are certain speeches, articles and current statistics. So this document consists of eight speeches, six articles and the current statistics data. And the RBI has also mentioned in its, in its bulletin that all the views that has been expressed in this bulletin is not that of RBI as such or the Monetary Policy Committee, but it is of the authors who have written these speeches and articles. And majorly these three have given these speeches, that is the Shakti Kanta Das, Michael De Debabrata Patra and M. Rajeshwar Rao. Okay? So let's move forward. Now what are these six articles? So in today's session we will be talking in brief about these six articles and maybe later in some other videos we will be discussing the speeches as well. So in today's video we will be talk talking about the articles. The first article talks about the state of the Indian economy. Then it talks about how the monetary policy has confronted the supply driven inflation. Thirdly, the use of remote sensing application for and how and it has done the assessment for agricultural commodity arrivals how we can use the remote sensing application to have to know in advance the status of the agricultural commodity where it has reached and what is the prediction of the time period and fourthly it talks about it basically gives a comparison of the of the impact of the fed taper what is what is the fed taper we'll be discussing about this so basically it is uh, it is a restriction that was imposed by the Federal Reserve of USA and what impact does such, uh, such policy, such uh, restrictive policy taken by the Fed has an impact on the Indian financial market. Fifth, we will, we'll, we will be talking about the headwinds of COVID-19 and the impact of India's inward remittances during the pandemic era. And finally, we will be talking about the electronification of foreign exchange markets in India. And we will be discussing in brief. So basically we'll have an idea and outlook that RBI bulletin mein hota kya kya hai. So let's get started with the first article and the article was on the state of Indian economy. Now if we, if we talk about the global landscape which is facing the fear of recession and war that is the Russia-Ukraine war. The Indian economy has shown resilience. Now, how has the Indian economy shown resilience? Because of certain indicators, such as the revival of the monsoon, the pickup in the manufacturing services, which can be seen in the recent era. Apart from that, the stabilization of the inflation pressures. As you know that for the last month, the inflation has eased to around 7.1%, a decrease from the previous month. Apart from that, we also have strong buffers in the form of adequate international forex reserves and 
sufficient food grain stocks and a well capitalized financial system which shows a brightened outlook and strengthens the condition for a sustainable trajectory in the medium term so we can see that in the medium term there is a sustainable tra sustainable uh, trajectory growth tra trajectory for india theek hai kyunki we have seen certain resiliences by these indicators for the indian economy तो ये आर्टिकल इसके बारे में डिस्कस करता है कि हाउ ऑल ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स शोज दैट इंडियन इकोनॉमी कैन बी वेल रिकवर्ड इफ इफ सच इफ सच एडवांसेस इफ सच इम्प्रूवमेंट्स कंटिन्यूज फॉर अ लॉन्ग एंड वी ऑल नो दैट थ्री क्वार्टर्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन पास्ड एंड वी जस्ट हैव वन क्वार्टर टू हैव टू कंट्रोल आर इन्फ्लेशन विद इन द टारगेट ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट ठीक है नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सेकंड आर्टिकल दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द हाउ द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एक्शंस हैव कन्फ्रंटेड द सप्लाई ड्रिवन इन्फ्लेशन नाउ इन द वेक ऑफ द करंट ग्लोबल इन्फ्लेशनरी एपिसोड दैट वी आर फेसिंग द रोल ऑफ मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इंटरवेंशन हैज बिकम ऑफ अटमोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंस स्पेशली फॉर कन्फ्रंटिंग द सप्लाई ड्रिवन इन्फ्लेशन so this article that is the article on inflation monetary policy confronting supply driven inflation has talk about the adverse supply shock characterized characterized by an increase in crude oil prices and shows that the monetary policy response conditioned by the nature of the shock the adverse shock that we are facing the aggregate demand conditions the monetary policy credibility and the reaction of other agents in the economy to the shock so the article talks about all these factors how they have characterized and conditioned the monetary policy response taken by central banks throughout the country now it also talks about supply shock transitory it, it it says that if the supply shock is transitory if it's for a certain period of time then inflation can can and would return to the equilibrium level without the need of any monetary policy action wo kehta hai ki agar supply shock jo adverse supply shock hai wo transitory nature mein hai to inflation equilibrium point pe aayega hi aayega and you need not have any monetary policy action but however and as we have seen that because of the repeated supply shocks which generates the second round effects has necessitated the requirement of preemptive policy monetary policy action by the central bank but since jo bhi is adverse supply shock hai wo repeated dekha gaya hai right and i we have also talked in our previous video that we are actually importing inflation because of supply disruptions global supply disruptions ठीक है तो अगर ऐसा कुछ सिचुएशन होता है तो मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एक्शन अटमोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंस की हो जाती है ठीक है एंड सिंस द इकोनॉमी इज गोइंग थ्रू द कॉन्ट्रेक्शनरी फेज एंड एडवर्स सप्लाई शॉक कैन वर्सन द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी ट्रेड ऑफ एज इट कैन इल एफोर्ड टू वीक इन द डिमांड इट कैन वीक इन द डिमांड फर्दर बाई रेस्पॉन्डिंग टू द इन्फ्लेशनरी इम्पैक्ट ऑफ सप्लाई शॉक्स ठीक है तो मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी ट्रेड ऑफ भी हो सकता है सो व्हाट इज द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी ट्रेड ऑफ सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू ट्रेड ऑफ फर्स्ट इज टू कंट्रोल फर्स्ट इज टू कंट्रोल इन्फ्लेशन ठीक है एंड द अदर इज टू मेंटेन ग्रोथ ऑफ द इकोनॉमी एंड दिस टू आर द ट्रेड ऑफ अगर आप एक को करने जाते हो दूसरा अल्टीमेटली हैज अ रिवर्स इम्पैक्ट सो द the role of the rbi or the monetary policy committee is to strike a balance between these two theek okay? hai so we always try to have our inflation within the target of 2 to 6% and usually the target for the emerging countries is within this range only however if you talk about the developed countries their long term target is of 2% their inflation target is of 2% ठीक है तो इसके बारे में ये आर्टिकल बात करता है कि अगर आपकी जो मॉनेटरी जो सप्लाई साइड शॉक्स हैं अगर वो रिपीटेड हैं नेचर में देन यू मस्ट गो फॉर मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एक्शन एंड यू शुड आल्सो सी दैट देर इज़ नो वॉस ऑफ बिटवीन द इन्फ्लेशन एज वेल एज द ग्रोथ ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मोनिट्री पॉलिसी ठीक है सिमिलरली अंदर एन एडवर्स सप्लाई शॉक अगर एडवर्स सप्लाई शॉक है देन द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कैन फ्रंट लोड 
monetary actions what is front loading front loading is typically to have more of how do we control inflation by increasing the interest rate so front loading means having more of increased interest rates in the initial years so that baad mein aapki stability maintain ki ja sake theek hai to this uh, article also states that if you have adverse supply shock then you should front load monetary policy actions which in order to demonstrate the credibility uh, by showing commitment to the inflation target this will in anchor inflation expectations necessitating less aggressive policy increase in future and therefore a lower growth sacrifice iska kya matlab hua agar aap aaj front load karte ho zyada interest rates increase karte ho high karte ho zyada rate se then in the future there will be lower pressure on decreasing growth agar today if you increase the interest rate then this increase interest rates will suck the excess liquidity from the market and in the long term it will provide stability to the growth sector theek hai aur bhi bahut kuch hai is article mein this is just a gist of what this article states which with the topic monetary policy confronting supply driven inflation now we will talk about the third article that sees remote sensing applications for policy and assessment of agricultural commodity arrivals theek hai now we all know the role of supply side factors in shaping the trajectory of food inflation and inflation in general right aapko pata hai ki jitne bhi supply side factors hain agar supply mein kuch issue ho jata if there is a decrease in supply then it has an adverse impact on the inflation be it of the food inflation or inflation in general agar supply ruk jati hai agar hamara monsoon seasons acche se nahi ho rahe hain right then in that case our supply will be disrupted and when once the supply is disrupted the demand and demand is obviously will increase so suppose this is the demand curve and this is the supply curve and this is the price theek hai agar supply kam ho jati hai agar supply kam ho jati hai and this is the demand then prices is tend prices will tend to increase and this increase in prices will lead to an inflation and if the commodity is related to agriculture then we see that there has been an increase in food prices similarly if this commodity is energy then we have seen an increase in inflation in the energy sector as well to jo bhi ye supply side factors hain these are of utmost importance in determining the inflation impact theek hai so now in order to have timely and reliable indicators of crop production now this timely and reliable indicators of crop production is required in order to assess the food inflation agar aapko food inflation measure karna hai then you must have timely and reliable indicators ki is saal production kaise honge how well in advance are we going to predict the supply conditions so that if suppose the supply is going to decrease theek hai they are going to have supply side disruptions then from beforehand only we can come up with certain policies in order to control the inflation in the uh, food supply theek hai ab ye kaise hoga now in this study now this study has been conducted in order to explore the utility of satellite imagery based vegetation indicators for the assessment of commodity arrivals in the agricultural mandi so we are trying to make use of technology in order to understand ki kitna jaldi commodities will reach the mandis theek hai and and the time if there are delays in the uh, arrival of the agricultural commodities in the mandis then this delay in arrival can lead to increase or surge in the price of the vegetables or the food resulting in food inflation तो so, हम इसको मैप करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि कितना टाइम लगेगा एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू दिस वेल इन एडवांस सो बाय यूजिंग सच टेक्नोलॉजी इट विल हेल्प इन प्रोडिक्टिंग द सप्लाई कंडीशंस वेल इन एडवांस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी विल आल्सो हैव अर्ली अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द वेजिटेशन इंडिकेटर्स एंड द इंटर डायनामिक्स ऑफ द वेजिटेशन इंडिकेटर्स दैट वी आर टॉकिंग हेयर अबाउट विद द मंडे अराइवल्स विल ऑल्सो सजेस्ट दैट देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ वेजिटेशन ऑन अराइवल्स which strengthens the progress of crop season 
ठीक है और ये भी देखा गया है वाइल यू वाइल सर्वेइंग एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग द यूटिलिटी ऑफ दिस सेटेलाइट इमेजरी बेस्ड वेजिटेशन इंडिकेटर दैट देयर इज हेट्रोजिनिटी इन द पैरामीटर एस्टिमेट्स अक्रॉस द मंडीज सपोज द टाइम टेकन टू अराइव सर्टेन मंडी मंडी ए इज टेन मिनट सपोज दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल डू नॉट इंटरलिंक विथ अदर फैक्टर्स दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल एंड सोली मेंट फॉर दिस पर्पज ओनली ठीक है इससे बाहर नहीं सोचना बस इतने के लिए सपोज देर इज अनादर मंडी बी एंड द टाइम टेकन टू रीच दिस मंडी इज फिफ्टीन मिनट्स प्रोवाइडेड दैट बोथ ऑफ दीज इंडिकेटर्स आर द सेम तो यही बताया गया है कि इवन इफ द इंडिकेटर्स आर द सेम इवन इफ द पैरामीटर्स आर द सेम द टाइम एस्टिमेट अक्रॉस मंडीज डिफर ठीक है तो इसके बारे में इसकी यूटिलिटी के बारे में बात की गई है इस आर्टिकल के अंदर नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फोर्थ आर्टिकल दैट टॉक्स अबाउट फेड टेपर एंड इंडियन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स दिस टाइम इट इज डिफरेंट ठीक है नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय टेपर तो इसके लिए पहले वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सर्टन थिंग्स वेन द ग्लोबल रिसेशन हैपन द ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस of 2008 happened then there was less of demand theek hai demand nahi tha market mein why was there no demand because people didn't have money so what the government did is the government come up the, the us government the us fed it come up it came up with the quantitative easing program and with lower interest rates and it also urged other countries as well to have such easy monetary policy ठीक है इसके थ्रू वॉट दे देर इंटेंशन वॉज टू इंक्रीज द मनी सप्लाई इन द इकोनॉमी सो दैट पीपल हैव मनी टू स्पेंड एंड देर बाय इंक्रीज द डिमांड इन ऑर्डर टू रिवाइव द इकोनॉमी एंड ग्रोथ तो ये इनका ऑब्जेक्टिव था नाउ वॉट इज दिस क्वान्टिटेटिव इज एन ईजिंग तो अंडर दिस क्वान्टिटेटिव ईजिंग द फेड दैट इज द सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ द यू एस परचेज परचेज गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी ठीक है परचेज गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज विच वॉज अवेलेबल इधर विद द कॉरपोरेट्स और विद द इंडिविजुअल और इनको परचेज करके इट वॉज ट्राइंग टू परचेज ऑल द जी सेक्स ऑल द पेपर्स विच गवर्नमेंट पेपर्स विच इट हैज अर्लियर सोल्ड एंड देर बाई इट वॉज ट्राइंग टू इंफ्यूज लिक्विडिटी इन द मार्केट लिक्विडिटी इंफ्यूज कर रहा था it was taking the papers from the corporates and the corporates plus the individuals that is the public was getting liquidity and this liquidity was infused by additional printing of notes notes print kiye gaye the additional dollars were printed so that they have money in hand in order to spend in the market so that demand and growth could be revived so this was the objective now since years passed this uh, quantitative easing which was used by the fed resulted in increasing inflation inflation increase hone laga so they came up the fed the fed came up with the tapering policy now what is this tapering policy so under the tapering policy the fed will try to minimize its asset purchase jitne bhi asset purchase the usko kam karne ki baat ki gayi hai so basically this is the opposite of quantitative easing whereby you are trying to bring with bring up with restrictive monetary policy so that you can control inflation in the economy by decreasing the money supply so this is known as the uh fed tapering theek okay? hai i hope tapering aapko samajh aa gaya hoga so uh so this article that has been released named that taper in indian financial markets it basically compares the impact of the feds taper announcement the two fed tapers announcement on the indian financial markets first it was announced in may 2022 so quantitative easing was announced during the global financial crisis of 2008 and after that in the year 2013 the tapering was announced and the second was announced in november 3 2021 the so, taper of large scale assets programs in was initiated by the fed in response to the adverse economic consequences with macro economic shocks that had the potential to significantly impact the financial markets especially in the emerging market economies theek hai aur ye article us 
उस इम्पैक्ट को कंपेयर करता है कि जो फर्स्ट फेड टेपर अनाउंसमेंट हुआ था वो कितना सीवियर था और सेकेंड वाला कितना सीवियर था ठीक है सो द द स्टडी इवेंचुअली इंडिकेटेड दैट द 2021 टेपर अनाउंसमेंट दैट इज द टेपर टू अनाउंसमेंट वॉज लेस सीवियर एज कंपेयर टू द टेपर वन अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ टू and the reason the basic the major reason could be because of high resilience is shown by the indian economy and the indian economy was in a much better shape in the year 2021 to withstand the fed tightening and managing of the volatility in the financial market aur ye jo severity batayi gayi hai this has been talked about uh in terms of its impact on indian bond yields as well as the spreads theek hai aur ye bhi kaha gaya tha jo 2021 ka taper announcement tha so why was it 2021 uh announced taper announced because if you know 2020 mein covid aa gaya tha so during the covid central banks across the country infused liquidity in the market to bahut zyada liquidity infuse kar di gayi thi now in order to control this liquidity this taper announcement was made by the fed similarly india mein bhi ab announce ki ja rahi hai aur jo second taper announcement tha wo less severe tha india ke context mein because india was already prepared because it knew that whenever certain things happen whenever the uh, us fed comes up with quantitative easing it simultaneously also comes up with the taper announcement theek hai to isliye wo pehle se prepared the they were more resilient and they were in a much better shape to withstand the fed tightening aur bhi bahut kuch hai is article ke bare mein we will be discussing this article in detail like what is what is the fed paper announcement what are its impact on the indian market or other emerging markets its impact on the exports imports the balance of payment as well as on the forex reserves that a country has iske bare mein we will be discussing in the coming videos aaj ke liye we will move forward to the next article now this article talks about the headwinds of covid 19 and india's inward remittances so the article says that the inward remittances what are remittances so indian diaspora indian migrants staying abroad send uh, working and then sending money into india theek hai india mein paise bhej rahe hain these are known as remittances so the article states that the india's inward remittances has proven to be resilient source of current account receipts during the pandemic during the covid 19 pandemic and the article also identifies the factors determining the resilience of the in uh, inward remittances inflows across the countries in the changing of the geo geographical and socio economic composition of the remittances or ye and according to the fifth round of the remittances survey that was conducted in 2020 21 it was said that the share of gulf countries in total remittances during the covid uh, era declined as well as it also reflected slower pace and migration of the indian diaspora in the informal sector so because of the pandemic we there it has been seen that there has been a decline in the uh, presence of indian diaspora in the informal sector uh, uh, abroad as well as we have also seen a decline in the share of gulf countries in the total uh, remittances apart from that the article also talks about the proportion of small size transactions increased aur iska ye matlab hota hai that suppose there is a shampoo so earlier people were buying the bottled shampoo which cost 200 now people have shifted to buying the sachet say rupees 2 each so ye indicate karta hai that there was stress in the income conditions because of the pandemic apart from that the divergence was also reflected in the bank group wise performances because the public sector banks lost their market share while the private sector banks retained its dominance in the remittances business to ye dekhne ko mila tha ki private sectors ke through jo remittances businesses ho rahe the they retained the dominance however the public sector bank lost their share now we will talk about the last article that is known as the electronification of forex markets in india and what is this electronification so basically we are trying to conduct the trade as well as the price discovery online 
थ्रू द यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज टू एमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज ठीक है एंड विद द एमर्जेंस ऑफ मल्टी बैंक प्लेटफॉर्म इट हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ ट्रेड एंड प्राइज डिस्कवरी इन द फॉरेक्स इन द ग्लोबल फॉरेक्स ट्रेडिंग ठीक है एंड सम ऑफ दीज चेंजेस कैन हैज ऑल्सो बीन सीन इन द ऑनशोर इंडियन रूपी मार्केट ठीक है तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिफिकेशन की वजह से द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ ट्रेड एज वेल एज द प्राइज डिस्कवरी द रेट द प्राइज एट विच द शेयर्स आर ट्रेडेड हैज बिन ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द इम्पैक्ट द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हैज ऑल्सो बिन सीन इन द ऑन शोर इंडियन मार्केट तो जो भी इंडियन रुपी में ट्रेडिंग होती है उस मार्केट में भी इसकी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देखा गया है एंड सो दिस आर्टिकल दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉरेक्स मार्केट्स इन इंडिया डॉक्यूमेंट्स द रीसेंट चेंजेस इन द फॉरेक्स मार्केट्स इन इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिफिकेशन एंड इट्स ब्रॉडर इम्प्लीकेशन की क्या क्या इम्प्लीकेशन है वाइल इलेक्ट्रॉनिफाइंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिफाइंग द फॉरेक्स मार्केट्स ठीक है एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिफिकेशन हैज बी कैरेक्टराइज बाई द एमर्जेंस ऑफ न्यू फॉर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेडिंग वेन्यूज वॉट आर दिज न्यू फॉर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेडिंग वेन्यूज वेन्यूज सच एज सिंगल बैंक प्लेटफॉर्म मार्केट मेकर्स इंक्लूडिंग द प्रिंसिपल ट्रेडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ना वॉट इज द सिंगल बैंक प्लेटफॉर्म सपोज यू आर सपोज दे आर सर्टन ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन यू एंड अ बैंक सपोज बैंक ए now you have transaction with bank b as well suppose export has been done and certain transactions is done with bank a suppose you are importing from certain other country say the uh, the uk and with that bank also you have certain transaction now this single bank platform this which is also known as single dealer platform provides you one user interface so you will be having one user interface and using this one user interface you can have access to all of the transaction all of the multiple different transactions that you are undertaking so with the electronification it provides you with convenience right it provides you with convenience and an and an access and an easy way of handling your transactions apart from that electronification has also provided the benefit of market makers what is market makers who are market makers so market makers are basically liquidity providers the person who quotes both liquidity providers so these are persons who provide both the buy price as well as the sell price theek hai suppose aapne kuch stocks khareedna hai you can come to the, to the market makers the dealers theek hai and if you want to sell certain things you can come to this person so this person has uh, has stocks has abundance of stock has and through this stock you can either buy or sell and that's the reason why these persons are known as the market makers or the liquidity providers or this can be individual retailers or certain institutions as well aur ye jo single bank platform hai it is basically a software which is used by the investment bankers in order to provide the facility of single interface single user interface so these are the articles that was talked about in the uh, rbi bulletin of july 2022 apart from the articles there are certain speech whereby different authors have talked about the impact of inflation the impact of monetary policy apart from that the uh, the other economic indicators such as the amount the interest rates the repo rates increase and decrease and its impact on the economy of india so in sab ke bare mein bhi baat ki gayi hai in the coming video we will be taking up certain speech because it is important for your understanding so this was all for today i hope you like the session and the free pdf of this session has already been made available to you on the telegram group so go check out the telegram group and download the same Uh, so till then take care and bye bye